Hey everyone, it's Bizarro. I'm sure you're noticing that I'm starting this video off very differently. There's no guitars, no fanfare, none of all that. And I'm not even saying goodbye this time. And that's because it's going to be a very different video. If you've ever talked with me in any of the Discord servers, you know I'm typically a pretty private person unless I've gotten to know you pretty well. But uh, in this instance, I'm going to be getting a little bit more personal in this video to help you understand some decisions that I've made and the direction this channel will be going in the future. Uh, so I recently had decided after talking with my best friend of 30 years to quit playing DC Legends. And I made that decision for a number of reasons, but uh, the primary reason was my health. If you've listened to a number of my videos, you've probably heard me say more than a few times that I'm tired when I'm doing a video. And that is because I am almost always tired. And the reason for that is because I have a condition called chronic fatigue syndrome. I used to be a professor and when I was working and teaching, I noticed that when I was getting done, I was much more tired than I used to be. And I also noticed that getting rest wasn't helping that, that my quality of rest was very poor and that I was progressively getting worse and not better. And so I had asked for a sabbatical to be able to come back to my hometown and try and relax and rest up so that I could continue my uh, career as a professor. But I noticed even when I came home that it was beginning to get progressively worse. So I started seeing doctors about it and they were quite baffled as to why I was so tired. But they did see some physical indicators of that fatigue. So I spent some time very frustrated, unable to get a diagnosis. And finally in May of last year, I was diagnosed with this chronic fatigue syndrome. And um, what I've noticed is that, again, you know, my, my quality of rest is not very good. I, I never sleep through the night. I often wake up five to six times a night in spite of how tired I am. And getting this diagnosis at the Mayo Clinic, if you're not familiar with the Mayo Clinic, this is basically the number one hospital in the entire United States. And the guy had said, uh, said, the doctor I saw said to me that he had seen my symptoms many times and that he knew what it was and ran all the blood work and explained to me this condition called chronic fatigue syndrome where essentially the body is stressed out for so long and the limbic system gets activated that the limbic system doesn't know how to shut down. Um, so uh, maybe a, a better way of saying that is you stay stressed for so long, the body doesn't know how to stop being stressed, even though the stressors are gone. So the, even though I don't feel stress mentally, I f feel the stress physically because my limbic system is constantly going, which makes it hard to sleep uh, very well, which makes me then perpetually tired and my body gets easily fatigued. So the reason I tell you this is because normally I don't like sharing all the personal details of my life, but I had been hoping that this would start to resolve itself with some time, but I noticed that it had not. And I watched my career crumble. My dating life has been on hold. Yes, ladies, Bizarro is single. And I noticed that... Um, I was, it was starting to affect my relationships with people because they couldn't understand why I was so tired all the time. And I even eventually lost some friends who had a difficult time understanding the nature of my condition, which is really a second layer of the frustration of dealing with something like this is the failure for people to understand what you're going through. Uh, I get lame suggestions like, have you tried exercising? And I want to say, uh, you did hear that I'm so physically tired I can hardly move, right? Or they might tell me, hey, I've got some great sleep tips for you. And I'm thinking, wow, you must know more than the Mayo Clinic because they told me those things too and they didn't work. So it, it is frustrating to say the least. 
uh, when you're getting all these lame suggestions. And I, and I know people probably mean well, but it is frustrating when you've tried all those things and you still hear those very basic suggestions. So I'd come to the decision to stop playing DC Legends and get a little bit more focused on my health, become a little bit more present in my life, which means that obviously this channel is going to have to change because I don't want to get rid of it because it's something I enjoy doing uh, and keeps me entertained while I'm sort of cooped up in my house. Um, you know, and it, I, I also want to thank a lot of people who have helped me along the way in the game, being that I am going to be calling it quits. All the officers who have ever served under me, Matty Bo, who helped me found Bizarro's number one alliance and has been a true friend to me and a really nice guy. I really appreciate it. If you've never talked with him, you should. He's an extremely nice person. Inferior Warrior, Bizarro Flash, Jack Dono, Knight Flash, Bat Zaro. Every one of you really did an awesome job serving for me as officers, and I really appreciate it. All the art of the channel that was done by Silver Fox, who is an extremely nice person. Uh, you've probably seen him do artwork in the community center to let you know who the bonus tunes are coming up. I also want to thank my original co-host, Galahad, who's been a true friend through all this, too. He's listened to a lot of my complaining and, as we say in the South, bless his heart for having to listen to that. I also want to thank every guest who's ever been on my show. Ogre, Ogre Barbarian, Siphon, Hate Mail, Tutitron, Bizarro Flash, my good friend Cal L, who's also been very supportive of me. I really appreciate it and Voorhees, who I've really enjoyed getting to know. Uh, thank you all for helping make the channel about DC Legends really great. But it's time for me to move on to something different, and that's where you, the audience, come in. What do you want to see the channel cover? Because obviously I can't give you advice on new tunes that are coming out that I'm not going to be farming myself. But I do want to offer something to you through this channel, um, and I'd love to hear what you want in the comments section. So just leave me a comment, tell me what you'd like to see, and maybe it'll spark some ideas for me of where I'd like to go in the future. I had dabbled with the Tales from Bizarro World where Voorhees and I told silly stories, and we had actually wanted to continue that on, but I've been so fatigued, it's been very difficult. So thank you for subscribing. I will understand if being the nature of the channel is going to change. I will still be Bizarro. It will still be Bizarro style. It just won't be DC Legends, but I understand if you end up that you unsubscribe because you primarily want DC Legends advice. Um, but hopefully you'll stick around for my journey to see where I go because I, ha I really do enjoy doing this. And I thank you, the viewing audience and listening audience, for listening and watching my channel. I'm not signing off for the last time, but I am signing off for the last time for DC Legends. Thanks for all the support. I will see you guys next time.